I have an online coaching business that does over $100,000 a month. And yesterday we did $24,000. Three days before that, we did another $24,000. So just in those two days alone, that's $48,000. How am I doing this? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the top two mistakes that I used to make, as well as the top two mistakes that currently a lot of new coaches are making right now in this online business space. So if you are a high ticket coach or you wanna become a high ticket coach, or you wanna be a coach that sells something that's worth you know, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 plus, you, have, you wanna have a high ticket package, this video is really, really gonna help you out because you're probably making one of these two mistakes. So the first mistake that a lot of new coaches make is they think it's all about the money. How do I get the money? How do I get the money? How do I get the money? And it makes sense to think that way initially. I know I definitely used to think that way as well because it's kind of like in the game of basketball. How do you win the game? Well, you gotta get the ball in the net. So all you're thinking about is get the ball in the net, get the ball in the net, get the ball in the net, get the ball in the net. Same with playing soccer. You like get the ball across the line, get the ball across the line. That's what you're thinking, thinking, thinking all the time. But then the ball never actually goes in the net because that's all you're focused on, as opposed to being focused on what causes the ball to go in the net, as opposed to being focused on what causes the ball to go across the line so you can actually get the goal. Same with making money. Rather than focusing on where's the money, where's the money, where's the money, where's the money, focus on what causes the money to come in. And this is, in case you don't know it, happy customers. If you can get happy customers, they will refer their friends and their family to you as well, so you can continue to get happy customers. Plus, when you get a happy customer, you can get a video of them saying how awesome you are, how amazing your program is. You can put that on Instagram, you put that on YouTube, put that on Facebook, send it out as an email and say, do you want results like Daniel? Do you want results like Farhoon? Do you want results like Patrice? Do you want results like Pacha? And you just share your customer success stories with everyone else. And then everyone else is like, yeah, I wanna be like Pacha. I wanna be like Daniel. I wanna be like Patrice. I wanna be like Farhoon. That sounds amazing. How can I do it? And then you have a conversation with them. You find out if they go what it takes, if they actually really want this, if they wanna follow your roadmap. And if they do, cool, they can sign up to work with you. This is the biggest difference between our most successful clients and our bottom clients. Our bottom clients are always just like, well, where's the money? Where's the money? Where's the money? And they say like, it's not working as if it is something out there where really it, whether it's working or not, it just comes down to is that person, is that coach, are you finding ways to get your clients results as quickly as possible? Have you made your roadmaps clear enough? Have you been able to figure out where people go wrong and then help them correct course ASAP? Have you found the ultimate hacks to speed things up and make things as effortless as possible? Are you doing the work with them so they don't have to do it on their own? Our top clients, they're so focused on the actual process. They're so focused on playing the game that they don't really even care about the points. And it's this paradox because as soon as they give up this desire to get the money, get the money, get the money, that's when the money comes in. It's a really beautiful thing. And when you study the law of attraction, you study the laws of the universe, you realize that, yeah, it's in the letting go that the thing you want actually comes. So sure, it's cool to come into business and say, I want to make 10 grand a month. I want to make $100,000 a month. Cool. But it only starts to come effortlessly once you totally relinquish your desire for it after all. And you just purely fall in love with the process, purely fall in love with the game, purely fall in love with how do you get the ball up the court so that the ball can go in the net. And that just comes from having fun with this game of business. It comes down to you having fun creating the content Content, having conversations with prospects and then working with your clients so they can actually get results as quickly as possible. So that's the first mistake. The second mistake a lot of new coaches make is they think that they need to be a solopreneur and that they should be a solopreneur for a long time. Being a solopreneur is fine for the first week or two perhaps if you don't have someone to team up with, but I highly recommend you team up with somebody like a COO or a chief operating officer or just an operator, someone who can run the behind the scenes of the business for you, somebody who's a, a, a very well paid member of your team, someone who's getting between 10 to 50% of all of your profits, someone who's taking care of everything for you that you don't want to focus on so that you can stay in your zone of genius and just do the thing you do really, really, really well. If we come back to the analogy of basketball, let's say Steph Curry, the all-time best three-point shooter in the game. Imagine if he didn't have a team and he had to do everything himself. He had to play defense. He had to play offense. He had to play like the middle of the court. Plus he had to take the shots. Plus he had to block shots. He would suck. The reason he's so good is because all he has to do is shoot those three pointers. So if you know that you're really good at making content, you're really good at teaching and simplifying concepts, and you're really good at working with clients, then that's all you should be doing. Everything else should be delegated. The sales should be delegated. The tech should be delegated. Everything you don't want to be doing should be delegated. All the legal stuff, all the administrative stuff, just delegate all that. Find out what you want to do and delegate the rest. And you can delegate the rest to an operator. If you want to know how to find an operator, if you want to learn about how to do interviews or what you should pay them or what tasks you should get them to do or how to even find out if you qualify to have an operator in your business, Click the link below and I'll take you to a form 
where you can fill out and you basically apply to get an operator. And when you fill that out, you put your Instagram, you put your YouTube, put how much money you're making or how much you expect to be making. And then we'll pair you up with an operator if we think that you'd be a good fit to get an operator. So if that sounds interesting to you, check it out down below because we work with a lot of operators and they're always looking for influencers to connect with and help them grow. So that's it for now. Ciao for now. Peace out. Much love. Adios. I'll see you in the next video.